Hey, welcome back everybody. And today we're doing what if Deku had the Kamui part three. I hope all of you guys are excited because this is about to be a banger. But and I've been gone for like what about like two weeks. Not that long. I don't think it's that long. But you know, I, I had stuff to do. But you know, other than that, um, you know, today's a special day and I have to do a what if today because you know, it's super special. So, I mean, um, what do you think I'm going to be doing today? There's probably going to be a special what if coming out today. And you guys should be expecting it because it's going to be a banger, okay? Just, I'm just giving you a teaser. Other than that, let's get started with the video. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watch me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright Hush Okay, so the last time when we left off on this what if, both Izuku and Bakugo were getting ready to fight. And this is due to Izuku and Bakugo gaining their new abilities and them leveling up to this new state of power. And as they get ready to spar, Bakugo rushes in with multiple explosions, but Izuku immediately yells Kamui Domain Expansion as the surrounding area turns into Izuku's Kamui. As Bakugo is completely confused, wondering where he is since, you know, he was just at the beach fighting Izuku. As he looks right in front of him, he sees Izuku as Izuku smirks, telling Bakugo that he's more powerful in here than he is in the real world. And he has more control here as well as Bakugo is completely confused what's going on as he sees the smirk on Izuku and his eyes glowing red. As Izuku yells, Shadow Clone Jutsu, as multiple Shadow Clones appear out of nowhere, as Bakugo never seen like this ability before at all. As he's wondering if what Izuku's quirk is and just like what his power is in general. Then, all of a sudden, all the Shadow Clones start bombarding Bakugo as Bakugo is pulling off Izuku's Shadow Clones and blasting them with his explosions as they all start to poof with Bakugo's explosions. As then, Bakugo starts running around trying to get away from them but there's just way too many. And under Izuku's breath, Izuku thanks Obito since on the scroll, he had the Shadow Clone Jutsu on it and he, Izuku taught it to himself, but the only problem is that he can't use it in the real world since the chakra needed to use the Shadow Clone is just way too much as Izuku can't even handle it in the real world, but in the Kamui world, it's super easy for him as he learns it immediately and uses it against Bakugo as Bakugo is being overwhelmed by all the Shadow Clone as Bakugo is being taken to the ground. But Bakugo had a trick up his sleeve. He still had one for all, as he uses one for all in tangent with his explosions, as a huge explosion appears out of nowhere, poofing all the shadow clones and knocking Izuku back. As he fell on his feet, getting back up, he notices his Kamui dimension expansion, domain expansion, is dissipating, and all of his shadow clones are gone. But then, Bakugo cracks his neck, telling Izuku that hurt as he immediately rushes Izuku, as Izuku grabs two shurikens, imbuing it with his Kamui, as he throws them in the opposite ends, as Bakugo is still rushing him, as Bakugo is confused what Izuku is doing since he completely missed all of his shurikens. As Bakugo continues to rush Izuku, about to hit him with a huge explosion, but right about when that was about to happen, Izuku disappears. As he looks behind him, he sees Izuku at one of the Kamui shurikens he threw, as they're just floating in the air with the Kamui, you know, the Kamui swirl continuing to go. As Bakugo is completely confused what's going on, as he still continues to decide to rush Bakugo, and right about when he was about to hit him again, a jutsu of lightning appears from the other Kamui shuriken, hitting Bakugo straight in the face and frying him as he lands on the ground, losing the fight. As Izuku helps Bakugo up and Bakugo is just completely confused what just happened. He was just rushing Izuku and right about when he was about to hit him again, you know, he just got struck by lightning somehow. 
And as he remembers, he realized that it came from the other shuriken, that the jutsu came from the other shuriken, as Bakko's completely confused. As Izuku says that these are some new abilities that he gained from his old master and his, with his guidance. As Izuku says that when they do their rematch again, he's not gonna lose and he's gonna train even harder, as Izuku smiles. But right then, all Might appears out of the shadows and tells Izuku and Bako that that was a really good fight and that they're definitely gonna get into UA. As both of them smile, you know, you know, smirking, saying that they know, but then all of a sudden All Might says they probably actually won't get into UA if, you know, they're late for the exam. As Bako and Izuku are completely confused, as All Might says that they, they, they've only got like one hour to get to the UA entrance exam, as both Izuku and Bako book it back home to get ready to go to the exams. And so when both Izuku and Bakugo get to the gates, Izuku walks through the gates and he doesn't trip this time. And so he doesn't meet Uraraka just yet. As he greets Bakugo and greets him and you know, they're just talking about what they're gonna do for the entrance exam. And so they go take the written portion of the exam and you know, they finish it with flying colors. These kids are smart as hell. Like these kids were probably, you know, top notch on, on like like the thing, like smartly scale. Bakugo by himself is a smart ass. Have you seen the anime bro? Like he's smart as hell. And Izuku by himself is also pretty smart as well. And so I say they finish with flying colors. And so they go to the seminar room to meet Mike Guy as he starts explaining all the robots and all the, you know, the things that they're gonna be doing during, you know, the, the physical portion of the exam. And so while my guy is explaining this, both Izuku and Bakugo are talking to each other about their new powers. But then all of a sudden, Ida stands up, pointing at Izuku and Bakugo, telling my guy that these two are disrupting class by talking to each other. As my guy who doesn't care just continue on, continues on with the lecture, you know, not giving a flying, this is a family channel, my bad. I shouldn't be saying that. You know, I apologize for my thing, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, let's just continue on with the what if. And so, both Izuku and Bakugo line up at the gates, getting ready to, you know, beat all these robots, as Ida's just looking at them, thinking that they're not gonna be doing much. As all of a sudden, my guy yells, go, 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 as all of a sudden, everyone rushes through the gates. But the, two, the first two people in the lead right now is Bakugo and Izuku, as they're blitzing through all the people, as they're like, like 10 miles ahead of everyone as they're defeating every robot they see before everyone as no one like has any robots to kill at all as they're just looking but izuku and bakugo are basically getting rid of every robot there as ida's completely surprised seeing that these two guys you know these two scoundrels as he's so called are way better than him as Izuku's using his chakra and using it on his fist to punch through all the robots in ease. And Bakugo's just using his explosions, not using one for all quite yet, since he doesn't want to, you know, risk it and see make people see that he's using one for all in tandem with his explosions as well. But the thing is, Izuku has been trained by Obito and Kakashi. And, you know, Bakugo has been trained by All Might and has one for all. So they're basically both able to take out all the robots and, you know, they left a few for the other people. As they're, you know, sitting down on a building, you know, resting up, seeing what they could do and wondering what, how they improved on their powers. But then, all of a sudden, Izuku hears a loud noise. As he looks up, he sees the zero point robot looking down at him with its red dot. As Izuku's just completely startled seeing this huge, you know, robot thing, as both of them jump away. But Izuku, he's a cry for help. As he looks down, he sees Uraraka stuck under rubble. As he immediately throws one of his Kamui shurikens and lifts Uraraka out of the rubble and takes her back to, you know, the medical girl. I forgot her name, my bad. But, you know, I, he takes her back to the medical girl and making sure that she gets healed. As he comes back, he notices Bakugo hitting all of the robot's joints with his, with his explosions, getting rid of all their joints for the robot. As he asks Izuku to do the final blow. As Izuku gets ready and uses the largest Kamui expansion that he ever could. As he encases the whole robot with his Kamui expansion. As Izuku puts his hands together and remembers what Obito told him, as he told him that his Kamui world is completely different from theirs, and that he could use his Kamui world in completely different ways, and he can reimagine it however, however he wants it to be. As Izuku thinks outside the box and starts to use the pillars in the Kamui dimension that he made, and starts bombarding the robot with like a wood style, but you know, the pillars and you know, the bricks 
at, in the Kamui dimension and uses it like wood style and starts, you know, completely bombarding the robot, flattening it to a pancake. As Izuku releases the Kamui expansion, as everyone sees the zero point robot completely destroyed. As all of them are just wondering what the hell just happened. As everyone is still completely stunned at what just happened, Bakugo walks up to Izuku asking him how he did that. As Izuku tells him that I, he thinks that he just made his Kamui expansion 10 times better. As Bakugo's kind of afraid what Izuku can really even do. But then everyone starts to hear my guy yelling, telling everyone that they need to leave the examination hall since, you know, the exam's over. As everyone starts to leave and Uraraka sees Izuku and is about to ask Izuku, you know, you know, tell him thank you for what, you know, he did. But then everyone starts to bombard Izuku, crowding him, asking him what his quirk is, how he did that. And, you know, if they could teach him as well, if they can, if he can teach them. And Izuku is just completely surprised at what's going on. And so both Bakugo and Izuku immediately run out of the examination hall, not wanting to deal with that. And Izuku goes home that day and for the next week, he actually waits for his letter and he didn't get anything for a long time. But all of a sudden he gets, you know, some mail in his mailbox and he brings it back home. And it's from UA as both his mom and him are anxious. As Izuku opens it, he gets a disc from all, and as he turns it on, he sees an All Might action fi like not an action figure, a hologram, my bad. As he sees a hologram of All Might telling him that he got into UA and he got first place on the entrance exam. As Izuku is completely ecstatic, even though he knew that he's probably gonna get into UA, he's super, you know, he's just super happy and that his dream was finally accomplished in getting UA and he's getting a step closer into becoming a hero. As Izuku calls Bakugo, asks, asking him if he got second place and if he got in. As Bakugo says that he did get in and that he did get second place. As he asks Izuku if he got first. As Bakugo snarls, as he knows that Izuku did get first, as, you know, Izuku's just laughing. And so that night, Izuku goes to bed, assuming that it's going to be a regular sleep, as he gets, you know, mentally prepared that he's actually going to be able to become a hero, and that his, you know, path to becoming a hero starts tomorrow. And when he goes to bed, he wakes up again, drowsy, confused what's going on, as, he, as he's back into his Kamui dimension, as Izuku wakes up, he looks upwards and notices two glowing figures, as one of them is completely blurry to him and doesn't even know who it is. And the other one is still pretty confusing since he still doesn't know who these people are, as he thought it was Kakashi and Obito at first, but it's clearly not them, as one of the other persons has pale skin and horns protruding out of his head. As he looks down at Izuku like a dog, as he hears this person talking to the other person, saying that he doesn't look that strong and that he probably can defeat him with no problem at all, and that it's not going to be a challenge at all. As Izuku looks at this person confused, but the other person seems much more mystical as they're just completely glowing with white, as he's just completely confused what's going on. But as the other person speaks, Izuku can feel the power radiating from them, as Izuku is completely scared, falling to the ground. And this is where I'm gonna be ending off the what if. I mean, if you guys like the what if, don't forget to, you know, like, comment, and share. And there's also gonna be a big red button if you scroll down right there. If you hit that, we can get to 3K. And we're gonna be able to get to 3K, and then soon enough, we're gonna get to 4K, 5K. We're just gonna expand our community, okay? Other than that, guys, you know, if you guys like the what if, and, you know, if you like the white figure and me finally explaining and how Izuku gained his Kamui slash Sharingan type abilities, you know, don't forget to, you know, like, comment, and give me your ideas on what you guys want me to do for this what if as well. Other than that, guys, I'll see you guys later.